we should be able to relax all restrictions. And I actually believe that we should be starting to, with the first restriction removed, should actually be the restriction on children. Say it with me. I got played. Come on, just say it. I got played. You know, somehow, I told you so, just doesn't quite say it. You are a natural born public speaker, and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You pointed out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. What are we going to do with that? What oppressed me? Just saying. So the CRT stuff is BS. Let's not judge our neighbor because they may be vaccinated or because they may not be vaccinated. Let's not judge our neighbor if they should choose to wear a mask or not to choose to wear a mask in the weeks ahead. Whenever someone is doing their own personal risk assessment, which we have asked them to do in this province for a period of time now, uh, they're doing that assessment for themselves, possibly for their family, and they may come back with a, a different decision than what you might uh, arrive at. And that different conclusion, albeit maybe different from where you have landed, should not be judged. It should be respected and it should be accepted. It's time for each of us as individuals now to make a conscious effort to treat everyone in our daily lives that we encounter equally. It's also time for the proof of vaccination mandate to end. So effective at midnight this Sunday, February the 13th, all provincial proof of vaccination requirements will end. Do you agree with the move? I do. There was a and is a time and place for pandemic restrictions. But when they were put in, it was always with the understanding that they would be removed as soon as we can. And in this case, circumstances have changed. Case counts are declining. Also, the science has changed. We know that vaccines protect very well against Omicron, which is the dominant variant. Everyone five and older have widespread access to vaccines. And we also know about one way masking, the idea that even if other people are around, you are not wearing masks. If you wear a high quality mask, that also protects you, the wearer, too. And so in this case, I'm not saying, I don't think anyone really is saying that no one should ever wear masks, but rather that the responsibility should shift from a government mandate imposed from the state or the local district of the school. Rather, it should shift to an individual responsibility by the family who can still decide that, that their child can wear a mask if needed. Um, you know, take New Jersey, the case in New Jersey, for instance, their new case average is just over 4,000. Um, is that an acceptable number to do this or, or, or are they projecting out to March 7th at this point? I don't think we should be looking at case counts at all at this point, especially when we're dealing with a milder variant and when so many people were exposed to Omicron and therefore have ha have at least some level of protection, either through vaccination or immunity. The key number that we should be looking at is hospitalizations. If our ICUs and hospitals in that particular region are not overwhelmed, if they're not over capacity, we can set a number, for example, 75% or 80% full, then we should be able to relax all restrictions and I actually believe that we should be starting to, with the first restriction removed, should actually be the restriction on children. Because while for adults, you could say, well, what's the harm of adults masking when they go into a grocery store? There actually is a harm that we should be discussing of children continuing to mask. That doesn't mean that masking doesn't have its place for children when there are very high rates of hospitalization. If we get a new variant in the future that children are particularly susceptible to, we may want to bring masks back. But we should also be in a intellectually honest and say that masking has had a cost, especially for the youngest learners, in, uh, people with English as a second language, children with learning disabilities, there has been a cost to them. So the risk benefit calculation has really changed. What's going on, folks? So y'all seen these videos right here. And, you know, again, it's one of those deals where I use whenever I I do it all the time. But, you know, there's no better way to express what I'm trying to say to you more than what this little clip from iRobot. You know, somehow, I told you so, just doesn't quite say it. You see what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, you're going to start to see this backtracking. All of a sudden, well, you know, things are changing. We've seen this. We've seen that. We've seen how things are, and we know, and these numbers are not going down, ladies and gentlemen, because of the vaccine. They're not going down because of 
you being boosted or anything. The reason why is because you still can get it. So that's not the reason why it's going down. It's going down is because you are a human being with a God given immunity. And whenever something like this hit the world, I haven't hit the world before. We've obtained things through natural immunity, real vaccines. Now, like I said, this is still under the emergency use. If y'all didn't know that it's still under the emergency use act. If y'all didn't know that it still is. Pfizer is. I'm not talking about Carmenity. I'm talking about Pfizer. Still under the EUA. Look it up if you don't believe me. Anyway, to the ones who are vaccinated and boosted, I just want to know what y'all think right now. To the ones that this same dang on system right now, your abuser, the one that you have Stockholm Syndrome to, now, look, look what they're starting to say now. Well, now we don't want to judge the ones that don't want to wear a mask or, you know, they, if they don't want to, uh, don't judge. Treat them with equal respect. We all should do the same. If you don't want to wear a mask, you shouldn't be judged. If you want to wear a mask, you shouldn't be judged. You know what? Really, the ones that was not wanting to wear a mask in the beginning never was doing a lot of judging in the beginning at all. Didn't care. It was just more or less like, if you want to wear a mask, by all means do it, but then stay the heck out of my business. If you want to remain fearful, by all means be fearful, but don't be mad at me because I choose not to remain fearful. So again, here we got these two different people, which y'all going to start to see and mark my words, you're going to start to see it on a national level at a different news segments and all that about them. Well, you know, we're starting to see numbers go down. Oh my God, all of a sudden numbers are going down now. Now they're going down when like literally like a few days ago, we're starting to see a spike, but numbers are going down. Just say it with me. I got played. Tell just come on. Just say it. Get it out. Just say it. Ty, you are right. I got played. And I'm just thinking. You know, somehow I told you so. Just doesn't quite say it. Yeah, you got played. For the ones who were all virtue signaling because this same, these same news segments, these same outlets was pretty much pushing it out there. You know, you want to make sure you protect your grandmother. You want to protect your elderly. You want to protect this. You want to protect that. You want to protect that. Why do y'all think this is all of a sudden starting to happen? Americans are fighting back. Big shout out to Canada. Americans are fighting back. Canadians are fighting back. Not only that, you want to know why? Because they fear... That there's going to be what where, where where you at? Where you at? They fear that color right there is coming. They that that's what they they fear that that color right there is coming. And all of a sudden, now they got to flip things around here in Illinois. All of a sudden, you want to flip things around? JB Prince go. We have some time more than twenty years of financial. Stop lying. Stop lying. Flat out lying. Watch what I'm telling y'all, folks. All of a sudden, everybody's gonna jump on this train of. Well, you know, we all know we've seen the science and, you know, COVID's not going anywhere. We all know it's not going anywhere. So, you know, we just know that we're at a position right now. You know, and this is what the America is about. You know, we had two years to study it. We see where it's going. We see what it's doing. And right now we're at a state where, hey, parents, if you want to send your kids to school without a mask, hey, they don't. But the ones that want to wear a mask, you know, if they want to protect themselves further, let them continue to do it. You know, but don't judge anybody. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, peanut butter. Yada, yada, peanut butter all you want to. It always has been for the past two odd years that we knew that those masks did not do absolutely nothing. It says it on the box, YouTube. Don't try to get me for medical misinformation. It says it on the box, YouTube. It says it on the box. Okay. So again, say it with me. The one that got played, Ty, you're right. I got played. Play. You know, somehow I told you so. Just doesn't quite say it. Some of y'all still are not gonna be able to just get off that train. No, you still gonna take up for your abuser. You still gonna well, the only reason why they did is because when they just no uh, no, you got played. You got played. You got played. Shut up. I'm Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, or clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you through Jesus. What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh and help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel and you forgot to, 
get to know who I am first though, right? Then you're gonna click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, alright? Peace.